And you also were talking, again, back to the webinar, that you're trying to get a 100% off-grid system. Uh, yeah, a 100% off-grid system. I'm, I, wanted, I just thought it would be cool to kick off 2017 with a tiny house. I'll let you guys know two go things I want to do, um, or three things, actually. I got a trailer that's 14 feet wide by 32 feet long, and that's going to be the widest one we have ever built. We're going to build that in January or February. Okay. So the off-grid house, what this consists of, we are going to have our full 1,000-watt solar kit, but we're going to run as much stuff off of propane as we can, the fridge, the AC system, the heater, uh, the uh, water heater as well, and then um, possibly, um, oh yeah, and then we have our stove, and then possibly, I hear you could use propane for the... Um, uh, to, to actually produce electricity if you wanted to, but I just, I don't, I don't want to have a strolly propane. But the thing is, but most of that, much of that stuff is going to be powered on propane. But then on top of that, we want to focus a lot of our electricity on the water catching system, because that's what's using a lot of electricity. So we want to balance it out with the propane um, powered products, and then we're going to have the 1,000 watt solar kit that's going to be powering your lights, your, uh, just your, uh, just maybe your laptop, your lights, and everything, uh, or, and uh, just simple little things in your house. But what this water system is, that has been the biggest challenge every customer I have faces is water. They say, I can't get a well, I can't get it approved by the city, I can't get, um, you know, I, I just can't afford getting a well dug, or I can't afford getting it dug from the city line to my property. It's anywhere, I've had bids up to $20,000 to put a water line in. Uh, that was in the state of California. It was nuts. Uh, so there is a heavy price to pay for water. So there's a water catching system I found for about $1,500 to $2,000 where what it does, it catches water out of the humidity of the air. And what that does, that can gather up to 15 gallons a day in the state of Utah. And it's really dry here in Utah. And this guy, uh, he's tested it back east and you are able to catch the water about 30 gallons of water a day back east, which is insane. And, um, but you will be using more electricity for it. Um, but, and this is the thing about water catching, that many people want to get it from their roof and let it come from the top of the roof and down the gutter into a, a can. But I saw on Facebook actually recently, there was a guy that he got uh, in trouble with the government, and he, um, I don't know if they arrested him or not, but he got in a lot of trouble because he was off-grid, and he had a water catching system. And my friend that has this water catching system that catches it out of the humidity, he says the reason why the government doesn't like you catching water and filtering it yourself is because, one, you can't be taxed out of it, and number two, they believe it's dangerous and uh, because they want to make sure it's filtered properly. And if you're just using your own filter system with charcoal or something, then it just, they, they don't like that. Um, so it's good to be, that they're maybe watching after, after you to be safe, but it's not cool that they want to choke as much money out of you as possible with taxes. So my friend that has this other water catching system, he has a patent through the government and uh, through a variety of resources as well, where he is able to, use, uh, where anybody can use this system because one, it's, re uh, it's, uh, it's safe, you know, because it's been tested and it's been approved uh, by whatever environmental impact or whatever he's done to make sure that he can use it and sell it because he has full rights to sell it now, that, um, that anybody could use his product and catch water out of it. And so that means, because that made me a big relief because too many people have come to me and said, well, can my state approve water catching? And probably 50% of the states I've found in the United States have a lot of restrictions in the state of Utah, you can only catch a thousand gallons a year in the state of Utah, but heck, who's going to really check that? Mm -hmm. um, but so every state has their own regulation of water catching. Um, and probably want to do a web page on that water catching system. Maybe I should put that PDF there so you guys know what, what the restrictions are in your state. Um, but that is the biggest issue I've been facing with every off grid home is water. So if we can solve that problem, and get that water catching system to gather water for you, we can help you have less, or not as big of a tank in a house because on my webinar, I was talking about, I have a lady, she has a 70 gallon water system in her house, tank system, which I think is pretty good uh, if you're traveling uh, a portable tiny house, but she got a 400 gallon water tank 
But the thing is, she needed a much bigger pump. So she got, she got this bigger pump, but now it's using up all the juice from her solar because it uses two to three times as much power as our standard water pump. So that's causing her an issue, and she's just not getting as much sunlight. So what I am um, want to do is I want to be able to help you where you don't have to use as much electricity uh, by having a 400-gallon water system. What if you keep 70 gallons of water in your house and just use a water-catching system just to filter back into your small tanks and you don't have to have a big monstrosomous tank on the side of your house? But the thing is you're going to have to fork out about $1,500, $2,000 for that system. But, I mean, if you think about the cost of drilling a well, we're in Idaho, and it, it costs you $10,000 to drill a new well. Yep. So that's pretty... Yeah, it's pretty expensive. But, you know, having something that you can move from place to place like that is amazing because you take your investment with you. Mm-hmm. Yep, you can.